Hi, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to show you how to make a homemade sausage and pepper calzone. We're going to use this dough right here. We're going to make everything from scratch. The first thing we need to do is cook the peppers and the onions. So I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil. I've got a pretty wide skillet over here that's been preheated. It's about a medium high heat. I'm going to take these bell peppers, get them right in there. And then we have just standard old white onions. And these calzones are great. I've eaten loads of them in my lifetime. Here is some oregano, and this is about one tablespoon. We're going to add that right in at the beginning. And that's actually going to need just a little more of our extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to put in some kosher salt, and then some black pepper. And these need to cook down. You don't want them completely soft, but you want to get a good saute on those. They need to cook down for a bit, and then we're going to add our sausage in there and continue cooking all three of those items. And then they need to be cooled down to about room temperature before you stuff them in your calzone dough. Otherwise, it will uh, not be pretty. And this is our sausage here, and I made this from scratch. This is a combination of turkey and pork, 50-50 mixture, and it has plenty of spices in it like hot Italian peppers, Italian seasoning, and quite a bit of sage. All right, this is our sausage and pepper mixture. It's been completely cooked. You can see there's nice caramelization on the vegetables and also on the sausage. I've cooled it down and now it's ready to work with. So let's set it off to the side now and pay attention to the dough part of our recipe. This is my pizza dough or in this case calzone dough and I've got it in a little bit of flour and this is a very tender dough. Very simple to make dough yourself and what we want to do here, I'm not even going to use a rolling pin. I'm just going to Press it out with my hands. So now we'll just give it one final little stretch and then I'll take some of my filling and layer it in here. And these are a tasty treat when they're done, that's for sure. Get that on there. Probably put maybe a cup of filling in this guy. So it's going to be nice and stuffed. And then here's our mozzarella cheese. And this is a beautiful cheese that came soaking in liquid, so it's a nice fresh type. Just like that. And the, the sausages and peppers had plenty of seasoning on them, so they don't need any salt and pepper. So now we'll set this aside, and now we need to fold this guy over. And that is the trickiest part of the recipe. So we just take it, fold it over, and we're going to want to crimp the edges down, because you don't want it to come apart in the oven, because then you'll have a bit of a mess. So what I'm doing is sort of just folding the edges of the dough up, just like that. Pretty easy to do. And then I'm actually going to take this fork as well and just put some crimps in here to further seal it. It also will help give it kind of a cool look. And now what we want to do is take a peek here at our pizza peel. And this is how you get a pizza or a calzone in the oven. So what we'll do is take a little flour. We're going to put it right on the edge here and that's going to act as a way to make this guy slide off because the worst thing is when they get stuck to the pizza peel. So we're going to use this little paddle here. We'll get this guy on there. And then we're going to take one egg here and this is just an egg that's beaten up with a little bit of water. And we just want to give this a little egg wash that's going to help make a nice brown color. Okay, that's enough egg wash. The last thing I'll do is take a knife and I'm just going to make some slits in here and the idea is to let any steam that's most likely going to come from that cheese escape. So we'll just make some little slits across the top with this knife. 
Now I'm going to tuck this into a 375 degree oven until it's nice and golden brown. Remember all the sausage has been thoroughly cooked through so I'm not trying to cook the sausage or the peppers. We're really just browning and crisping up the crust. Should take about 25 minutes. So into the oven I go. Okay, here is the calzone. It is nice and golden brown. We'll put it over there on our board and you can see that the egg wash really helped to make it nice and brown. Here we have a serving plate with a very basic tomato sauce that we can use to dip this guy in. And I'm going to cut into it in a few pieces so you can see what it looks like with a nice serrated knife. Come on now. That's hot, but you can see all the beautiful filling inside there. So we'll just put a few slices of it. And that came out perfect. So that's how you make a nice sausage and pepper calzone with a simple tomato dipping sauce. Give that a try today. Harvesteating.com, the only social network website on the internet dedicated to seasonal, local, and organic foods. View hundreds of recipe instruction videos hosted by Chef Keith Snow, a nationally recognized expert in seasonal cooking. All it takes is an email address to join now for free. We welcome you into the Harvest Eating community. Start living healthier today. Mm -hmm.